Hello YouTubers, Rogue Monkey Jr. here for another video of Bare Bones Monday. Uh, the gun requested in today's video is the M60E4 and it was requested by Bayo Fusion. So starting right off on how you actually get this gun, you have to complete an assignment in the Gulf of Oman map, which consists in getting five vehicle destroys and an anti-vehicle ribbon in one round. Um, it used to be a lot easier when the second assault DLC came out because a lot of servers were actually running this uh, particular DLC map. And, but now less and less servers are running DLC maps because they want their servers to be populated so they just run vanilla maps so it might be a little bit harder than it was uh, to unlock but it's still pretty doable. Um, this is actually a gun from the United States of America and it's also better known as the PIG uh, which, it, which comes back to the original World War II model of the MG42. Uh, this is obviously an upgraded version of that gun but it pretty much uh, kept the same base. So moving on to the statistics of this gun, it has a maximum damage of 33 and a minimum damage of 21.6. The drop off starts pretty early at 8 meters and ends all the way at 65 meters. Uh, the fire rate isn't that awesome, it's at 570 rounds per minute which is kind of slow if you compare it to like the AWS or the MG4 which shoot at 800 rounds per minute. So you're kind of going to have to adapt your playstyle to this uh, rate of fire. The muzzle velocity is 600 meters per second and suppress 340. Bullet drop 15 meters per second and mag size is 100. Uh, where this gun is actually going to kick you right in the nuts is that it has a 7.8 second reload which is just freaking uh, an eternity in term of time. Even the short reload, it's exactly the same time as the long reload. They're both 7.8 seconds. So you're going to have to conserve ammo or really time your reloads or have a decent sidearm or something because those you, you're not going to be able to go through those reloads in the middle of action. I mean, you're going to have to really wait till everybody's dead close to you, then hide in a corner, reload, take that near 8 second reload and just like reload the gun. So yeah, the reload time is kind of ridiculous. Um, compared to some of the other uh, LMGs. I know LMGs have long reloads, but this one is just really long. Um, the recoil is not too bad for this gun. It's got a recoil of 0.4 up, 0.35 left, and 0.25 uh, right. has a first shot multiplier of 1, so it's not going to be uh, very difficult to control the recoil. How I like to use this gun is actually trying to tap fire it as much as possible because again I'm going to be uh, keeping my distance a little bit more just because of that really slow rate of fire that the M60E4 has. Uh, so tap firing is going to be an advantage for me because I'm, the longer you shoot with a gun the more your spread is widened. So if you you keep the click, if you full auto this gun uh, your bullets are going to go everywhere but on target but if you tap fire it chances are you're going to be a lot more accurate and you're going to get those uh, shots on the enemy. Uh, the iron sights for this gun, uh, meh, they're not the best. Uh, they're so freaking like high uh, and the further your enemy gets the harder they get to track so as soon as you can get anything to put on this just throw it on it's going to be better than the iron sights because like they're oddly made uh, iron sights. They're, if you use this gun you know what I'm talking about. I actually hadn't used this gun since I mastered it a while back I just personally find that there are much better options in terms of LMGs when you're playing as uh, the support class. Uh, the MG4 is a good one, M249 is a good one, and for long range I personally like the RPK if you guys have ever seen that video. Uh, I really love that gun for rush and longer range maps. It's like, it's like a laser beam, but we're not talking about that gun. If you want to see that video, just go ahead and click on the link up here. But um, the M64, you use it and you, fig you figure eh, there's better choices out there and you eventually move on to something that has a little bit more kick, that's more adaptable, and that's honestly just a better choice than this uh, particular gun. So moving on to the attachment part of the video for the M60E4, for the optics, I think you guys know by now that I really like the Coyote Red Dot sight. Uh, this is a personal choice. I find it takes up the less space on your screen and it just, uh, I just adore this sight. Obviously if you're using this gun for longer ranges you could put a, a higher magnified optic but I see just fine with uh, a red dot sight. For the accessory now, you could put a magnifier if you don't really want to put a higher magnified optic on there. 
and keep the coyote but still be able to use at long ranges I don't really find a use for this so I just put the green laser sight on uh, if I do happen to stumble across an enemy that's really close to me then it just gives me better hip fire accuracy but you gotta uh, be able to turn it off and off uh, to not get spotted from a distance barrels I didn't chuck anything on here don't really see the point of it uh, and the under barrel as I was saying I was tap firing this weapon a lot and it, I was doing just awesome with it scoring those headshots so I put a folding grip on there it made sense to me to reduce that first shot recoil uh, even though it's not that high it was doing uh, an amazing job for me having this so moving on to uh, some Siege of Shanghai TDM gameplay uh, I was just going ham with the M60 on this map uh, people were actually getting kind of angry and calling out calling me out for hacks and shit <laughs> I don't know I I took a little bit for me to get back into the groove of using this weapon, but once I got it back, I uh, actually was kind of liking it, even though I don't I don't suggest it as a gun because there are better choices out there. I was actually kind of liking it. Uh, obviously, I was trying to keep my distance a little bit more from the enemy because I had no chance against, pe against people using the AKs or anything with a really high rate of fire. So I was picking people off with getting those awesome headshots from a distance and tap firing the shit out of this, uh, the pig as it is commonly known. Um, actually having a lot of fun with it. I was playing with a couple of buddies in TDM. I was just tap dancing like a mofo and getting those awesome kills. Uh, you can see that I actually hide to reload because, like I said, the reload time is just so stupidly long that you just need to hide from and take that almost 8 seconds to just reload your gun. As, make sure you don't go into that fight like with a few shots left and having to reload mid-fight. Uh, I would suggest throwing on like something like a G18 as a pistol. Obviously, I use the Magnum because I love the Magnum, but... Uh, if you don't have that good accuracy or something like that, throwing the G18 on this uh, particular loadout would be awesome because you could just switch out to your pistol and just wreck their faces in close range with that uh, sidearm. Now obviously you got 100 shots with this uh, LMG. Uh, I would prefer a 200 shot LMG just because the reload time is so long that uh, 100 shots kind of like eh, it's in the in between range. Um, having 200 shots, you really don't have to reload often, so if the reload time is excessively long, as it is in the case of the M60 4 it doesn't really matter because you're not going to be reloading a lot. So it's kind of a, a bad situation for the M60 because it has the, the, sh the smaller magazine uh, capacity and it has one of the longest reload times in the category. So, But it's really good at range. Uh, tap firing is going to help you a lot, as I said. But yeah, that's about it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you'd like to suggest your own gun request for the upcoming video, uh, you can do so in the comments down below or send me a Facebook or Twitter message. Also, let me know how you guys like the M60E4, how you guys like to run it. Like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. I Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. As I get kicked out of the server I was in, the guys couldn't take the heat. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.